Hi Taurus, welcome or welcome back. My name is Lightworker Wit and I'm so excited to deliver your reading for May 2024. Okay, if this is your first time here, what we're going to do is we're going to go over what you can expect for the month of May. I'm going to give you my predictions for the month overall and then we're going to get into what you can expect, the unexpected and theme of the month for both your love life and career, okay? But I want to have something for you to look forward to. So let's just go ahead and pull a bonus card for that new moon in your sign that we have on May 7th, okay? I like to pull an oracle card in advance as I feel that that will really round out your reading. I peeked at it, but I don't really know what card it is, to be honest. Um, I also don't know these cards by heart. We're going to read that from the guidebook. But it's really going to give you a message for that new moon in Taurus on May 7th, and it's also going to bring your reading together. So I'll read that message for you at the end. Now, please remember, this is a collective reading. So receive what resonates, release what doesn't. Okay. And if you'd like a reading on your personal specific situation, you can always book a private session with me using the links below. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. How has your birthday been so far? Or has it passed yet or is it is it coming up? Oh good, that's fun. Let's also just take a deep breath for a moment, okay? Let's just do two, all right? Yeah, does that feel nice? Let's try it again. Very good. Good job. Ten of Pentacles. We love to see it. We love to see it, don't we? Okay, now listen. Back of the deck, Energy Three of Cups. Really got your people in your corner this month. Taurus, just out the gate, this looks like this could be a wonderful month for you. You just got to really not let your anxiety win. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got this going so I don't make this reading too long. So let me just take a look before I get started and then I'll jump in. Hmm. I feel like Taurus, there's a, there's a unworthiness that you may be wrestle, wrestling with. Okay, let's get in. Current self, 10 of pentacles, my love. We always love to see this energy. 10 of pentacles is, you know, we got the big house, okay? We, we have earned this. We've really worked hard for the abundance and luxury that we currently have. Now, I know you guys have been going through it the past couple months, as, as so my Tauruses are saying in my comments in my community, but... Uh, I know even last month your life kind of did a 180, but I feel like now in May, you should be feeling a little bit more settled, especially if you had some shakeup, shakeups in your career. You should be feeling more secure right now. So really, this month is all about you just kind of planting your seeds. This month, Seven of Pentacles, I feel like whatever shakeup happened, you're like, oh no, that'll never be me again, right? I feel like there's something in you who's like, that's saying... We can't let that happen again. We need to be more secure, more stable. You're planting some roots for security and, and roots that you want to see grow, Taurus, um, and flourish. So you're really, I feel like, stewarding your money wisely, and you do have rich soil at this time for the seeds that you plant for them to really flourish. Okay, I hope that analogy is making sense. Um, this is also about having patience too. You really, which you're really very patient anyway, but this whole month is about patience for you. Um, and I can already hear the comments. We've been patient. Okay. But this is not, it's not patient because you're waiting to reap a harvest. It's like you're willing to put in the work because you know, you know that what you're building is not something that you can receive overnight. 
based on what you've been through. You know what I mean? All right. Key goal to pursue, we have the five of wands. I feel like now that you've gotten to this ten of pentacles energy, you need to show people that you deserve to be here. The five of wands is about competition. It's about um, sometimes arguments but I don't really think that's the vibe here. I feel like you're just trying to prove your worth. You're trying to affirm your seat at the table, right? Now that you've gotten there. So just kind of, it's it's not over. The work still has to be put in. It's not time to rest yet. Obstacle to overcome is the sun. This is why I was saying I feel like we're struggling with feelings of worthiness. The sun is about happiness, clarity, joy, fulfillment. I, I feel like there's a little bit of, there. it's too good to be true. Let's go ahead and just pull a card from my essential oil deck. I hope we get something that resonates with you, Taurus. Just a little card for healing. This sun also relates to children. Maybe you guys are struggling with children in some way, but I, I feel more strongly the worthiness. We've got sacral chakra coming out. Please feel free to Google sacral chakra meditation. I prefer the meditation by the Roaming Yogi. The Roaming, R-O-A-M-I-N-G, Yogi, Y-O-G-I. I prefer her chakra meditations. I like hers best. They're kind of old, but I like them. Sacral chakra, which is your life force energy, okay? Your womb, all right? Sexual energy for my ma for my males. Trigger statement to release, I take control. Uh-uh, we don't need that energy this month. True statement to embrace, I am compassionate. Take a moment and allow yourself to see things from your heart center. From that place, allow your intuition to guide you. Okay, soften is the message here. Okay, you. I feel like you've had to be on 10, Taurus, and you don't have to be. You don't have to be this month. Okay, there's a time and a place for that hyper-masculine energy, in my personal opinion, speaking as a masculine sign, <laughs> but that's not this month, not your birthday month, okay? Major accomplishment by the end of this month is justice. Finally, you're getting paid what you're due, what you're worth, not just financially, but, you know, karmically. You know, things are, the, the wrongs are being righted by the end of May. Whoever did you wrong, whatever, whatever the universe did that you were like, what? Hey, this month you're like okay I see what you did there spirit <laughs> I feel like things are all coming together for you my dear Taurus justice also relates to a Leo oh, excuse me I said Leo because I saw the sun sometimes the sun relates to Leo justice relates to Libra okay in case a Libra is important in your life what to avoid? Nine of swords. That's why I was saying don't let your anxiety get the best of you. Don't let your fears win. I want, honestly, some of y'all might need to be on antidepressants. And I'm not really one to like, I lean towards Eastern medicine, practices herbal medicine, you know, um, naturopath, homeopathy. I never know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I feel like some of y'all might need to be clinically diagnosed. I don't know. I don't normally say that, but I just felt the need to say that here. Go ahead and get you get you checked out. Okay. Some people really do feel like antidepressants do improve their life um, and can really help you out. Okay. I personally, if you don't want to go that route, there is a supplement that I enjoy by Organic India and it's titled Joy. It was a herb that I felt really helped me during the pandemic. Um, feel I was really overwhelmed by a lot of isolation and feelings of loneliness. It really, it, it didn't fix everything, right? But it did help. It really helped me not feel so low. So if you're looking for something more natural, head to my Amazon storefront. It should be in, I don't know if I've created the wellness. I think I did. I think I created the wellness tab there, okay? Let, just, if it's not, message me and I'll send you the link. All right. What to embrace King of Cups. There might be a water sign important to you this month, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I think more importantly than that, bigger than a person who to find support from, I think this is more about what to avoid anxiety, what to embrace, cool, calm, and collected. That is truly what the King of Cups represents. In the traditional Rider Waite deck, it is a king who is calm because there's a storm happening behind him but he is able to weather it he's not worried he's not upset 
he's able to keep himself composed and manage his emotions. That's what you need to embrace this month. There's a message here, Taurus. I feel like, again, I feel like so many people wronged you that you're just kind of like mistrustful and on edge, right? So there's a need to kind of just relax. You don't have to be on guard this month. Uh, where to find support? Queen of Pentacles. That's going to be your uh, Taurus Virgo in Capricorns might be another earth sign to help you out. It might be yourself, find support within. Might be a, a very nurturing woman, someone who's very supportive, um, very earthy as well. Somebody may, maybe you look up to professionally. Advice and encouragement, 10 of cups. Again, I just kind of feel like you deserve this, Taurus. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you okay if you're if you kind of like gospel play that song um i just it's not too good to be true taurus you deserve it i love i love all this i love this i love that we have the ten of cups ten of for for me to have the ten of cups ten of pentacles and the justice all in your reading this month look at that look at that look how beautiful this is just such a lovely month for you it's a the tens represent completion okay clarity amen the fog has lifted this month for you oh my god i love i love that we finally have a win for you taurus <laughs> finally we have a win Okay, now let's go ahead and jump into your love life. I'm moving it right along, okay? I don't want to waste your precious time. You have things to do, people to see. Now again, just to recap, we're looking into where you are, what you need to work. Hold on, that's wrong. What to expect, the unexpected theme of the month. That's like what I started to say is a spread that I do for myself sometimes. Where you are, and actually no, I do it for my clients at events. That's the spread I use for clients at events. Where you are, what you need to work on, what's coming up for you. Interesting because the, the temperance flipped out while I was shuffling. Mm -hmm. But um, I put it back. And so did the star, actually. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's see what. Um, I can't decide if there's a relationship that is coming back or. I don't know. Let's see what. Taurus. What you got for Taurus? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Taurus, I feel like there is a person, yeah, separation here, separation. I, I swear I didn't, you saw me playing with these cards. It just kind of felt like open. Sometimes You just got to be listening sometimes when spirit just, you know. Um, I feel like there's a connection with somebody that you were, we were hoping for a reconciliation but it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work out. They don't want to be captured. They don't want to be locked down. They don't want to be locked down. I'm just gonna draw a message from Hidden Truth Oracle. I don't normally use this, but I'm using it today. And we got two. That's perfect. I will wait for a sign from you. That's you right now. You're waiting. You're trying to see. Can I? Is now the right time? I am becoming a better person. That's them. They're not in a position to. You are trying to wait for a sign, like, okay, is, you know, is this the moment? Are we going to work? They're becoming a better person. Like, they, they're not 
they're not who they need to be to, to be a good partner for you. For those of you who are single. Um, and this could resonate if you're married as well. If you're married. If you're married, I would interpret this message as still there's some disconnect. You and your person are not on the same page about something. But it's hard to say with this general reading. Let me just interpret this how I will. What to expect? Temperance, patience. Again, you're waiting for a motherfucking sign. You're waiting for a sign. You're like, I will wait as long as it takes. Hierophant, that represents you, Taurus. Temperance is also Sagittarius in case there's a Sagittarius you're involved with. The Hierophant is you. It's like you are... The Hierophant is about spiritual mastery, a spiritual teacher, spiritual guide, um, conventional as well. Like, I feel like part of you is feeling like you know you have you're telling yourself good things are worth the wait so i'm willing to wait and i'm willing to do things the right way because i believe that this is my person so i'm going to be patient and this takes time you're thinking in a very conventional way you're like obviously i should wait because da -da -da -da. sure okay if you want to but I feel like you're going to be disappointed if, um, after a while. The unexpected justice, okay, coming out again. Again, this is Libra energy. But I feel like I feel like some truth is going to come out this month. I feel like you're finally going to get information that you didn't have. That's going to be like, okay, I'm, you know what, I'm ready to move on because clearly you're playing games. Six of Swords, transition. It's giving let my people go. It's giving Moses. It's giving Moses. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to stand for this. I feel like, you know, what's really coming through is there's an energy of mistreatment. You've been patient this whole time. And I feel like someone's treating you a certain way that you're finally just like, especially if you guys are cross watching. I don't know why this thought just came to me. If you're cross watching for your person's sign, there's an energy here of like you were really doing the work of like I will wait and I will be what you need but then finally they just kind of really show themselves and you're like oh no I can't I can't go for that no no can do <laughs> y'all know spirit speaks to me through music y'all know that all right theme of the month six of cups really focused on an old connection Really focused on an old connection this month. Six of Cups relates to people, places, you know, things from your past. But we're moving on from it. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Sick chariot, moving on. The star, you were really hoping, you were holding out hope that this would work. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of that this month. Like maybe we could work, maybe it'll come together. But they don't wanna be caught, my love. Seven of Swords, they're not ready for commitment. They're, Seven of Swords a lot of times is escapism, avoidance in relationship readings. All right, we have worth waiting for and keep an open mind. Uh, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, whether or not that relates to you is not uh, important. I feel like the message here that's more important to me is keep an open mind. Uh, keep an open mind to other potential partners. Again, if you're married, this probably isn't your reading. Uh, Perhaps there's a transition. Again, if you're married, the only thing I can say about this is you and your partner are not on the same page right now about something. There's there's misalignment. There's misalignment. One of you guys are worth, willing to wait for something. One of you are not. And it seems to be dealing with an issue from the past. Um, I feel like this is more speaking to the single Tauruses who are dating. Okay? Worth waiting for is what I'm interested. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, I'm going to read this message. Your soulmate, 
Your soulmate relationship requires patience as there are many factors involved. Your soulmate's free will choices are beyond your or angel's control as is the readiness of both of you for true love. This card comes to you as a reminder that this relationship is worth waiting for. Divine timing is a universal law that is always in operation. It is the flow of everything. If we try to impose our human will and force things to happen, we become out of sync with nature and experience blockages. Simply, if we fret, when will I meet my soulmate? We put worry energy out into the universe. The romance angels have heard and answered your prayers for a soulmate, and they are working behind the scenes to bring this to you. Your role is to listen and follow your intuition, even if it seems unrelated to your desire. Your intuition is like a guide dog leading you along the path of answered prayers. Follow your intuition and trust in the timing of the relationship. Now, this does not mean wait for their ass, okay? This does not mean I want you waiting around. The last thing I want you to do is waiting around on a, on a person. I, most of my audience is, is female. So the last thing I want you to do is write, waiting around on a man. Okay? That's the last thing I want you to do. The last thing I want you to do. And here's what my advice to, first of all, if anybody's struggling to let go of somebody, please uh, look at the link below and look into my self-guided seven-day program, Let Them Go and Flow. Um, I have read for a lot of women who struggle holding on to relationships, and I've been there myself. Oh my gosh, I've been there myself so many times, I really understand what you're feeling. Um, but if you truly, truly, truly believe that this is your person, you have to, number one, be willing to let them go, and you have to be open to someone better. Tell the universe, this person or somebody better, period. Because if you hold on to this energy, if you grip Ooh, they're going to pull away from you so hard. You have to release and be like, you know, if they're for me, they're for me. Nothing that is for me can be taken away from me. Okay? And go on and have other... And then some people are like, well, I don't want to date anybody else. And they're like, okay, well then... You just want to be miserable with them because all you're going to do is you're just going to sit around thinking about your person all day, wondering why they're not texting, calling, or in love with you not the right energy to be in i really anyway i can i'm not going to get on my soapbox about that check out that program if you're really struggling to move on from somebody all right uh what we're going to do next is look into career same spread where you are what you need to work on uh i keep saying that spread what to expect the unexpected theme of the month for career Anna Kendrick in my head. Loki, I want to watch Pitch Perfect. I've never been per like I think Pitch Perfect is cool, but I've never been like oh, I'm gonna watch it. Judgment. Okay, we're getting some answers. Back of the deck energy is the Emperor. Strength card. There's a lot of okay. First of all, finances are correct. Okay, Taurus, you did you got it together. Yeah, there's a real heaviness this month that you got to be careful about that's going to affect your finances. Yeah, Six of Swords. There's a transition happening um, in your career. Um, but in this case, I kind of think it's for the better. Okay, what to expect? Strength, especially if your finances are not feeling this way yet, please expect this. Strength, Leo energy, but and then king of pentacles that's your energy capricorn taurus virgo your finances are, are are pulling together this month oh that's so good i'm happy to see that you it's going to require strength from you to get to this king of pentacles place but you can do it you can do it taurus i believe in you the unexpected is i also just love this imagery for strength because i mean come on nurses come on Okay, we appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Unexpected, Ten of Wands, a um, lot of responsibility, okay? King of Cups, again. I feel like there's a lot of pressure being put on you this month in your career, but you, again, your goal is, Taurus, 
keep a handle on your emotions. You might get be put you might receive more workload than you expected to this month. Maybe it has to do with your new role. It's my Alexa going off. Honestly, I'm such a mess. I don't know if you guys heard that. But I um, I program my Alexa to say things to me. This is what happens when you live alone and you're a single girly who's ambitious. I, I program Alexa to tell me things like, hey, go to bed because if you don't go to bed now, you're not going to wake up on time to walk Sasha and then your whole day is going to be fucked up. <laughs> Alexa. Damn it. Hold on, y'all. Okay, like, honestly, circa 2019, I was like, I'm never going to get Alexa. I don't need AI in my house. I have one in every one in my room. Every 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 room, room in my apartment, I have an Alexa now. <laughs> I got one, and that was it. I was like, oh, no, I need, I need one in every room. <laughs> And then when you like are cleaning up and you just say, Alexa, you know, play this on the everywhere group. And then now like you're just walking around the house and you hear the same song in every room. It's just like, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> anyway, theme of the month for you. Four of Cups. It's kind of like a bittersweet energy. It's just feeling like, yeah, I got my money, but mm, something's still missing. Maybe it's because the love life isn't you know, working out how you want. Ace of Swords, we've got clarity, we've got aha moments, we've got new ideas, we've got new perspective. And then we have the Six of Swords, uh, which is about, again, transition. There's a, tra this is, a uh, transition's happening for you and that's why you're being called to don't lean into the anxiety, Taurus, okay? You got this, you have the strength for this, you've gotta pull through. The judgment card fell out while I was shuffling, which is about awakenings, ascension, uh, leveling up, answering the call, okay? What do you have for Taurus, please, Spirit? This is my money and career deck. Hopefully we get something good. Taurus. Okay, damn, the spirit is really coming for you. <laughs> so we have growing up and denial. I do kind of really feel this growing up card. I really do. Let's read the denial first. Okay, show it to you again. Perhaps you are insisting that reality becomes something other than what it is. What are you refusing to see? It's better to live in truth than a lie. If you've been, if you've been putting on a false front to make money, it's time to remove that mask. I feel like this denial card for you, Taurus, there, it feels more closely related to work you're doing and what you're earning. I feel like you thought that you could do less and earn more. Don't let these folks on Instagram and social media serve you up some lies about this soft life. I was just thinking about this morning, I just had this conversation with my sister. Anybody who's living the soft life, you better believe that they hustled their ass off to have this soft life. There were a lot of nights that they spent up all night working, grinding to enjoy a view of the ocean and relax and work two hours a day, okay? That is just, no. Get, get Whoever started this soft life era, that's not real. That is not real. It exists for people who are complacent. I really need to make, I feel like I need to make a whole rant about that, but that's another topic. <laughs> that's another topic. However this message relates to you, what are you denying to see? What do you, you know, I believe in manifesting our Delulu dreams, but we do need to be rooted in reality just a little bit. Okay, growing up is also showing here. 
It's time to step into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own, especially if you guys are, whatever transition led you here, maybe you're moving, maybe you've moved out, maybe you've separated from people like roommates, or lovers. That's why the strength is coming in. You Maybe you haven't had to do it all on your own for quite a while, right? And that's part of the stress. Or maybe you're having to carry the load if you're married right now. You know, there's a lot of ways that this can be interpreted. Anyway, you got, you, you're, in your career, you're being called to be one of God's strongest soldiers this month. But I feel that the payoff will be worth it as long as you can manage your emotions. All right, let me move on from that. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and look at what your message is for this new moon. I've already, I remember seeing it, but I forgot. <laughs> what card it is oh oh my god allergies are fun i feel like i've only developed allergies like within the past two years it's very annoying i didn't always have allergies it's really really annoying <laughs> okay balance okay i'm not surprised to see that here especially since justice was coming out like twice there is this message and need for balance in your life right now. Okay, I think I'm going to sneeze one more time and then I'll be good. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. I wish that I could edit that out, but I don't have the time. So thank you for being here for my sneezes. We got three. Maybe that means something. I don't know. <laughs> balance. Seek balance. Extremes of anything are rarely healthy or useful. There may be an overreaction that has caused the issue. Ground yourself and allow your strength to rise from there. Be aware of where the imbalances are in your life that are present. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe there's another one. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. The affirmation is, I seek and maintain healthy balance in my life. Working with the lunar cycle on a regular basis helps us actually experience the flow and balance of nature. The moon shows us the gradual and peaceful process... The moon shows us the gradual and peaceful process of waxing and waning in the phases of perfect balance within. Our bodies, our minds, and our human spirit seek balance, yet perfect balance is almost impossible to achieve. Think on this. If we try to stand on one leg and balance ourselves, no matter how good at balancing on one leg we may be, it is a kind of dance, is it not? The large and small muscles in our legs adjust to keep us upright, always moving, never perfectly still. The rest of our body is also performing a myriad of adjustments. A little to the right here in one moment, a little to the center there. The point is that balance is a process, something we can actively seek if we are wise. We need to know when we are unbalanced so we can return to homeostasis. It is useful to know where our imbalances lie and to make a decision about moving towards a more balanced version. Self-reflection helps identify this. When we are too something, working too long, thinking too fast, eating too much, we need to be honest with ourselves so we can identify this quite easily. Allowing ourselves a more considered and balanced view invites a true peacefulness into our lives, something that may, many people crave in this incredibly busy and chaotic world. Balance allows us to understand that overwhelm isn't a place we want to visit, let alone get set up home in. Companion stone is bloodstone, which I don't have to show you, unfortunately. Okay, clearly I'm going through it over here. I've got like lint on my lipstick and oh, oh my God.
I would love to edit that out, Taurus, but I have 12 of these signs to record and I just don't have the time, okay? I'm a busy girl. So I'm so sorry that you had to deal with that. Okay, so balance. I really feel like there's a message here about really not getting too hot-headed. Again, I feel like, you know what I want you to do, Taurus? I really want you to, um, it's your birthday month, so do some self-care. You might need to do some pressure releasing. Um, I want you to either go get a massage, but I want you to do it with the intention of like releasing anger, releasing the stress from maybe the last two months. Um, I want you to listen to a meditation on cord cutting. Cord cutting, cutting doesn't always have to be about releasing people, okay? We can be about releasing circumstances and attachments to places, jobs, you know, traumas. I feel like there's a lot of pent up stuff that you need to work out. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. I'm so sorry that I, my allergies invaded your, the end of your session, but I hope you still found it useful. If you feel like you want to delve a little deeper into this reading and on your specific situation, all of my links are below. Feel free to schedule that private session with me. Otherwise, I will see you on TikTok, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube for my next video. Love you guys. Bye.